Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today it's time to have a look at the devlog for the Finnish Aviation and Armoured Vehicles, which are coming out in the next update of Fire and Ice. Now, the devlog itself is pretty simple, uh, and also, if you didn't know, uh, the actual dev streams are going to be starting pretty soon, so if you want to see them, we're going to be live streaming them on the Twitch channel so we can have a look at it. So make sure to join us uh, so you can come along. It's going to be me and Alex, or Alex and I, and we're going to have a look at them as we always do, and they'll be posted on this YouTube channel as well uh, going forward. So if you are interested, make sure to check it out. The dev blog itself goes through some other additions that may be coming to Finland in the future. Finland is going to be a sub-tech tree of Sweden. It is now fully confirmed uh, that is going to happen. Basically, it says, since the Finns consider it too expensive to create a domestic military industry, most of the combat vehicles, both aerial and ground, are imported. The Finnish lineups bring a huge variety to the Swedish vehicle setups for all game modes. So it's going to be a subtech tree, just like how South Africa is a subtech tree for, of course, Britain. This is a big positive. Uh, independent tech trees have been shown on the last few, at least, such as Israel, to be pretty rough to go through just because of the variety of different vehicles that you can bring in and also the issues when you have with lineups. It is much better that what we're ending up with in this setup is even though there's a lot of copy and paste vehicles, they won't all be copy and paste, especially going forward. And at the same time, this bolsters a lot of lineups for Sweden, which do have a lot of unique vehicles. So hopefully we'll bring more people to the Swedish tech tree to have a little bit of fun in. So in the actual update teaser itself, we had a look uh, at what was going to be there. You know, we had uh, a bunch of vehicles uh, which uh, were turning up. So, for example, you had, of course, the T-28, the Panzer IV J, the uh, Charioteer, the Comet, the Leopard 2A4, the Leopard 2A6, the T-54, uh, the PT-76, the ZSU-57-2, uh, the T-34-76, and then also the T-72, probably an M variant. And uh, what they also talk about in the dev blog itself is the fact that there will be some other additions coming forward. They say, in addition to the machines already familiar to players, the Finnish lineup offers vehicles yet unique to the game. The British Vickers Mark E light tanks have found little use in their homeland, but were welcomed by foreign operators, including Finland. The BT-42 is an odd but very interesting conversion of the captured Soviet BT-7s into an SPG with a British 4.5-inch howitzer and a turret of domestic design. These vehicles are work in progress, and we plan to introduce them in the upcoming updates. So it looks like they will be coming, just not yet. Uh, so this is kind of a first look into uh, what will be for Finland and also what will be in the Swedish tech tree going forward. One of the things to note about these vehicles is if you want to kind of show interest, and also that means that, you know, Gaijin will pour more money into it, um, into development of these things. If you are actually interested in these vehicles going forward, the best thing you can actually do is obviously play through the tag tree, because that means that there, it will be more popular, therefore it will get more investment in it, just like how events uh, usually focus around the big three nations, because the vast majority of players play it. Uh, so if you are more interested in seeing more Finnish vehicles or seeing Sweden do well, the best thing you can do at the end of the day is just play play it at the end of the day. So um, it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, I'm super happy to see um, that the Finnish are coming just because of the fact that they're a subtech tree. If they decided not to do it as a subtech tree, it would have been a horrific decision, and I would be pillaring them, just because of the fact that there just is not enough vehicles to make proper um, lineups out of it. But now, one thing that this does is it will improve that rank 2 and rank 3 that Sweden really needs help with, and also it will give you more options in other areas as well. The fact that they're adding stuff like the JU-88 and the Vampire, even though they're not going to be too different uh, compared to the uh, other vehicles that you see in other tech trees. Um, it just means that when it comes to Sweden, it just makes it a little bit 
generally better. One of the things uh, also uh, with Sweden or with, um, sorry, with uh, Finland in itself is it just means that going along with this general idea uh, of uh, or oh, what's the word? Just going on with like the general idea that it seems like you know most people only play one or two tech trees. The fact that there's a bunch of like copy paste uh, stuff getting put into it. If you're a veteran player, it's probably going to be annoying for you. But if you're not a veteran player and you're just somebody who plays the plays one or two tech trees, this will obviously appeal to you greatly. So as always, when it comes to this stuff, there is going to be people who are happy with this, and there are also going to be people. Who are not happy with this and that's just how it pretty much goes in War Thunder because the community is so expansive in its general beliefs but I'm personally pretty happy with it it's more content for me to sink my teeth into and it means that I won't have to just play five Magax in a row um, which was basically the last update at least for me as always I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. I'd like to thank Forge, Siegebreak, Carrion Crow, Nicholas Richardson, E Love Goat, Pyman, Winter Scientist, Merciless Reaper, Orange Tail, Teddy, Daniel Stanton, Moxie, B Young, and also Sem Arslan, Wilkski, uh, Uncle Bean, Derek R, Barine, Lafouche, and Samuel Slick for supporting the channel.